water world. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about my day job. We're going to take you through some, take you through some of the fight scenes <laughs> that we do in the show, and also talk to you about how we make everything in this show look so real. <laughs> but first, go ahead and introduce my friends, Alex and Nicole. Hello. Good morning. Today we're gonna do a little ride along to Universal Studios. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the surfing fun we had yesterday. Travis Quest, first time on Chris's vlog. of the Barham Crawl. Everyone likes to use Barham. It's this pass that kind of connects the valley to the 101. The mountains around here in California really get traffic just all mixed up. Yesterday's fun on the beach surfing. Um, I actually caught zero waves. Uh, terrible surfer. I'm just kind of an impatient guy and waiting at the right time, paddling really hard. It's not for everyone. What I like most about California is that you can drive to pretty much anything you want to do. Hang out with your friends on the beach. Big Bear is only two hours away. Up into the mountains a little bit. Maybe do a little mountain biking. And then in the winter time, you get snow up there. There's definitely kind of everything in one spot. But I think everybody else likes that too. You know, that's what gravitates so many people here. It's sunny every morning. That really never gets old. Now the best part about my job is performing in front of 3,000 people. No doubt about it. Today, you guys are gonna get to see a Waterworld show. Greg Dahl, 
who is our full-time deacon. He's been a part of this show for 20 years. He's also an instructor of fight choreography at AMDA University right here in LA. And a pretty good chef, too. <laughs> uh, actually, cereal is about the height of my cooking experience. But thank you so very much for that, Chris. And hi, hi, Nicole. We're going to be taking a look at combat, as he said. Combat's really theatrical combat, or sometimes called illusionary combat. So we borrow a lot from real world sound fighting techniques uh, because it has to look like it comes from the real world, it has to look real. And then secondly, we're gonna be using uh, from another field of entertainment called magic. It's what we call it illusionary combat. We're not really hitting each other, we're not really hurting each other, but we're taking care of each other and trying to make it look visceral and violent for the audience. And finally, we're, we're pulling very heavily from the worlds of communication and storytelling and acting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look first at the fight that you might see it, the way you might see it, and just imagine that there are some pretty good sound effects that are being added. At At any given moment, one of them is an aggressor and one of them is a victim. Swinging at her at one particular time, she evades it. She uses a technique quite often called a, a wind-up reaction action where he winds up the cue, she goes underneath and he swings. That's what keeps it safe. Most audiences don't see, and that is the magic, the illusionary magic, and a little bit of geometry. Who thought that that form of math would come in so handy in the world of acting and stunting? But what I'm gonna have them do is they're gonna turn sideways in a moment so that you'll see that the weapon, which in this case is their fist, never actually makes impact. And then we'll talk about it, I'm even having them do it on slow motion. But let's see it at full speed, but side to side, stage right or stage left. So you can see what the average audience doesn't see. That weapon, just like the moon, we have an eclipse coming up, the moon or the sun, we see it in the sky traveling towards another heavenly body, in this case, the story target, which is his face. And at a certain point, there's an ecliptic moment where the weapon disappears behind the story target. So she's just making sure that she's sending that in a safe path where that eclipse takes place. And at that moment of eclipse, we would add a sound effect, followed by a lot of wonderful isolation from his body and, 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 and acting of pain on the other side. So that's it in a nutshell. There you have it guys, Greg Dolph, over 20 years of experience <laughs> of theatrical live stage combat fighting. Thanks a lot, Greg. And serial making. Thank you for having <laughs> me, I appreciate it. At the end of every show, we like to give the audience a chance to come down, meet the performers. We call that a nice little meet and greet. Hope you guys learned a lot about fight scenes. <laughs> and hope you enjoyed everything else that we did today and I'm really bad at vlogging right now. <laughs> If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Check out more videos I have on my channel. And thanks for watching.